with the Van Akron campaign, Charles Benson with the Ryan Group. Uh, Charles, let's begin with you. What did uh, Mayor Ryan have to say today? Well, we did have a chance to talk to him, but I want to tell you today's TMJ4 has just learned that voter turnout here is expected to be about 50%. That's higher than normal and much higher than the primary, where Mayor Ryan got about 33% of the vote. And he knows he's going to have to get a lot more than that if he wants to keep his job tonight. On the busiest street corner in Sheboygan, Mayor Bob Ryan is trying to win over any last-minute supporters. So this is a tradition to hang out on this corner? I don't know who started this tradition, but yes, it is. Yeah. It's expected of, uh, of candidates on Election Day to be out on this corner, so here we are. Ryan is hoping he doesn't make history by becoming Sheboygan's first mayor to be recalled. But he does have a history of two very high-profile drinking binges. The first was caught on a video with a cell phone in 2009. The most recent was a weekend in Elkhart Lake last year that ultimately triggered the recall. Ryan tells me he's been sober ever since, and he hopes voters will give him another chance. You know, I'm running on my record as, as mayor, and uh, that's a positive record. So Ryan's passed very much on the line here tonight as the city decides its future. And Annie, this is really a rematch. It really is. This is actually the fourth time Van Akron has run for mayor, the second time against Bob Ryan, the last go round. But he tells me Ryan's reputation in office has made this a whole new ball game and one he plans to win. Um, the city needs a new direction, and that's what we're going to be looking for after today. Terry Van Akron in a last-minute push to prove he's the better man to be Sheboygan's mayor. I think the last three years you've seen, uh, there's been a lot of distractions, a lot of controversy caused by Mayor Ryan. He's referring to Bob Ryan's public drinking binges last summer. Even though Van Akron lost to Ryan in 2009, he says it's Ryan's reputation that has run the city down, and he wants to take things in a new direction. That includes getting rid of a garbage fee tacked on this year to balance the budget. I've always had the passion for, for uh, representing the people of Sheboygan, and I think this is the right time. And Van Akron will be hitting the streets for a little while longer than planning what he tells me is a victory party tonight, and of course we will be there. Yeah, the polls close at 8 o'clock, and I'm told, Mike and Carol, we should be getting some results by around 8.30. Yeah, sounds like a big...